Hello and welcome to another quick Blender tip. Uh, in this video I'll be showing you how to create a vignette using an eclipse mask uh, to achieve a result similar to what you see on your screen now. So let's jump into Blender. I already rendered my scene here and I'm going to go to the compositor here. Using nodes and enable the backdrop. Control up arrow to zoom in. I'm just going to take away that panel. All right, I'm going to add a output viewer node so I can see what we're doing. To add the uh, eclipse mask, you can find it under the matte option. There it is. And I'm going to add a color mix and change the type to multiply. And then when I connect the mask to the image, you'll see the effect that it has. Right now, the eclipse mask is way too small, so we're going to do the width. Um, to one and raise up the height to just about like that. Usually it's around 0.56 um, for the 16 by 9 ratio. Uh, and that's your 720p or uh, 1920p resolutions. Uh, for our different resolutions, you would just have to play around with the height. Uh, right now it's way too sharp, so I'll add a Filter, Blur, place it in the middle of those two. And I'll set it to Fast Gaussian, hit the relative, and uh, about 20% should uh, be fine. Again, you could ex uh, just experiment with that, as well as the factor value here. If, uh, I like to set it to about 0.8 as it softens uh, the vignette a bit. And that's it. Now, another thing you could do with Eclipse Mask, now it offers you more uh, capabilities, is uh, moving it around. So you could say you position it at a zero and you move it at Eclipse Mask. So you can see in a preview over here in the blur preview of what it looks like. So you can have a, a cool uh, fake lighting effect. You could also move it to the other side uh, or up and um, create some uh, a, a kind of um, a spotlight effect. And you could also again uh, change the width and height of this. Another cool thing you could do is not just use an Eclipse Max, but you could also use a box mask to create your vignettes. Uh, so the traditional is the Eclipse Mask, but the box mask also works and it gives you a little more uh, subtle effect. Uh, so you can see in the blur preview of what it looks like. Again, it's a bit too small. Uh, however, raising it to one tends to overblow uh, the, the whole image. So this is what the blur would look like if it was a full screen or full, uh, full resolution, um, the border, I mean. So if you decrease it a bit, say like here, here in the preview right here you would see that it's more uh, looks more like a, a boxy vignette instead of the traditional uh, circular one or eclipse one so yeah those are two ways you can apply vignettes to your render hope you learned something and uh, i'll see you next time